plaintiff, Priscilla Trevino, says she grew up on the south side of Chicago, and she was involved in drugs, gangs, and violence. Priscilla wants her son, the defendant, to learn from her mistakes and not end up dead. But she's suing him today for the value of a car. Defendant Nico Frosto Gutierrez says he lives in a bad neighborhood, and gang violence has taken the lives of many of his friends and his brother. Nico is thankful for his mother, but he feels she's suing for more than he owes. Start with you. Your Honor, I was here a couple years back, and I'm glad to see that you're still doing good and well. Would you sue happy? <laughs> no. Well, you no. keep suing people then. No, I just want what's right and what's right and what's oh, wrong is right. what's wrong. Okay. Your Honor, I was uh, born on the west side of Chicago, and um, I was raised on the south side of Chicago in the back of the yards neighborhood of Chicago. Uh, you know, I chose gangs and what comes with gangs, drugs, violence, made a lot of bad choices, which is what I don't want for my son, Nico. How'd you get out of it? I just woke up and realized that the streets weren't doing nothing for me. And, you know, when you get locked up, nobody comes to see you. Nobody sends mm -hmm. you commissary money. I was hungry. I was tired. My kids were out there. They were all by themselves. My poor mom, she was a single mom, and she was raising my kids for me while I was making all mm -hmm. these wrong choices in life and sitting up in jail and doing all these bad things. Glad that helped change your mother's concern for your mother does help influence yes, your does. life. That was one of my biggest uh, change agents. Yes. When my mother told me yes. how bad I had done her over the years and told me she was going to die of cancer. And after all I had done, that was an immediate life changer. And what else you want me to know? This your son, tell me about how his life from your point of view. Well, he's a good kid. I love Nico to death, you know what I mean? I mean, I want him to uh, make the right choices in life. You know, I want him to obey the laws and not uh, to, to learn from my mistakes and not have to go through life in doing the bad things that I chose. I don't want him to end up in jail. I don't want him to end up dead. My son died oh, 10 years ago, son. he was killed. Oh, God bless and you, let me see 10 that. years ago, oh, he was shot to death in front of my- How old was he? He was 18. And um, the guy that killed my son actually in the past 10 years has already killed three other people and still on the streets running around beating the system. I just wish... Tell me about know, this son. Has he been over the years? You know, he, he was getting pulled in through the gangs. They were trying to pull him in, and he made the right choice and to not want to be Good. a part of that. Mm -hmm. Thank God for Excellent. that. You know? Yep. Yep. Good. Nico has a job now. Good. He's working, but still he's behind on a lot of stuff. And he has a, a child of his own now. So everything that he does is going to reflect on his child. So he needs to start making responsible choices. You know, I want him to be a, a, a good American citizen. You know, uh, respect the law, respect judges like you, Your Honor. Well, well he's not getting in trouble with the law, though. Well, he was, you know, doing little things like Smoking marijuana, now they legalized it, you know what I mean? Legalized like, it for adults. No, no good. How about alcohol? I mean, okay, I like my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know how to drive yet, so I still sit in the house and drink and think I'm driving. Oh, right. Hey. Yeah, I don't know what you're drinking now, and I don't even know if that comes from <laughs> alcohol. Defendant Nico Frosto Gutierrez is being sued by his mother, who admits she was in gangs growing up and she hopes Nico will learn from her mistakes. You give me some background, young man. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Uh, <clears throat> I'm thankful for my mom, Priscilla. I come from a yeah. bad, uh, bad neighborhood. Uh, I lost friends, I lost family to gang violence and guns. Also, my brother died in 2009 mm -hmm. to a drive-by shooting. It affected me very badly. Yeah, I have something to say too to my mom, Your Honor. I do love you and thank you for making the man I am today. And, oh, baby, and, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, um, How were you able to avoid um, hooking up with a gang? Um, Your Honor, I did. I did get like caught up in the gang violence. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie, but how did you escape? Just I had a daughter, and it just made me the I man know, I am today. I know, but it's not that easy. They still come. Hey, man, let's go make a move. I'm not that man, Your Honor. I know. What would you tell them? Oh, you Honestly, don't think Honor, you're talking like to somebody that don't know anything <clears throat> about this? I know. Time I went to college, came back that summer. And went to my buddies talking about I can help them get in college with a GED and get it financed through grants and all that. They pistol whooped me and robbed me. 
Mm. She ain't want nothing to do with that and didn't want anything to do with me anymore. Check it in, as they called it. Mm -hmm. All right? So I know how it goes. They didn't just let you walk away. He might still be doing something. If something had to happen for you to get out, let me hear about the car you're suing for. Well, I had bought a car, you know, Your Honor. I have to walk two miles to work and two miles back from work. I bought the car for us to prosper, so that way, you know, Nico, he, he knows how to drive. He's getting his license and stuff. But what he didn't know was that that car, when I bought it, didn't have brakes on it. That's why it was parked in front of his school, because when I went to go and take it, the car, the brakes were out. And the guy told me, he's like, there's no brakes on it, wait until I fix it. So he was gonna come over. I had bought all the supplies and everything was inside of the car, brand new brakes. I'm thinking I'm so cool. I'm buying I'm buying sunglasses for my car, <laughs> yeah. uh, stuff to clean the tires. So what happened to well, the car? Well, I was tired from work. Nika goes in there to school, acts like he's gonna go, and he goes in my room, he looks at me, I'm going to school, mom. And he took the keys really softly, carefully, like a little mouse, and then took the keys <laughs> and went out of, the, out of the house with the car and uh, lend it to one of his friends for $20 so he could uh, buy some pampers and stuff for his baby. So his friend's driving in the car when, and, and thank God that nobody got hurt and he just crashed into and a post. you didn't give him permission to no, allow his friend no, to use not. it. No, I did not. What do you say, young man? Yes, your honor, I admit I'm stealing the keys and selling them to my friend for $20. I only sold it to him for $20 to get supplies for my daughter. And uh, therefore, I, I feel you that- You sure you're not smoking crack? Nah. <laughs> That's a crackhead move, selling nah. the keys for $20. <laughs> $20 to get I you was two- young. I was young and $20 I was to out. get you two rocks. That'll last you for a few hours. I'm good. But therefore, Your Honor, um, I feel we should, me and my old friend, we should take in what it costs is 3000 And therefore, I paid 1000 so far. Oh, and good. I, he and, spends a thousand. Okay, but that's not that's not the your honor. That's not the value of the car. Well, at least he's paid you something. That's what I'm trying to this, get to. I, Let's I, see I'm it, just Dora. Saying, I mean, he that, has that, that, made not... an attempt, and is a young man. Well, I'm sure was, he like, done. That was like the stuff that I packed under the bridge. Okay, your honor. <laughs> young man has made an attempt. He's a good son, like you said. He's most, I know I love uh, him, no, but a no good son wouldn't give you a dime. A no good son would give you three thousand dollars worth of gain. And your defense today is what? We should both take in what it costs at 3000 OK. Um, I already paid 1000 so far, and I, I wish to pay the rest. And that payments. makes sense, and that sounds reasonable. On the other hand, the law is uh, if two people are involved in an act, then it can be joint or several liability, and meaning sever the liability. It could be separate or it could be joint. And in this case, it's going to be separate because we don't have him in front of us. Mm -hmm. What can happen is that after you pay the judgment, you can then go after him. Defendant Nico Frosto Gutierrez is being sued by his mother, who admits she was in gangs growing up, and she hopes Nico will learn from her mistakes. But in the meantime, she wins against you by yourself because you're the only one we can catch. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, Your Honor, may I say something? Yes. He didn't give me a thousand neither. It was more like he did. Three thousand is your judgment. Okay. Have a good day. That Thank man, you. young man, did give it to you. He did. Thank you. You're a good you man. Do good and do good by life, so you won't get in no more predicaments. Learn from my mistakes and do good in life. I love you, son. Uh, thank you for everything, Mom. Thank you for making me the man I am today. And I love you. And that's all I got to say. Thank you. Uh, God bless you.